Welcome. Do you know why the Fed rate cut did not help mortgage rates this week? In the next four minutes, I'll do my best to explain how it all worked. This week update will be intentionally short to make it easier to, to share and digest, and it will offer several strategies for understanding the paradoxical disconnect between the Fed fund rate and the mortgage rates. Think of the mortgage rate as broadly correlated with the Fed funds rate, but with the critical ability to adjust for probable changes in the Fed funds rate well before Fed's cuts or hikes. Mortgages are based on bonds, and bonds can move continually on any business day. Contrast that to the Fed funds rate, which can only move once every six weeks. That means mortgage rates can react to all of the news and data that will eventually lead the Fed to cut rates, which is exactly why mortgage rates have been moving lower recently. The bottom line is that the Fed was getting caught up in the momentum that already took place in the rest of the rate market. In fact, the rest of the rate market is already planning several more cuts. Understand that the Fed funds rate is like a one-day loan, whereas the average mortgage lasts a number of years. Loans with short and long-term frames have different rates and can behave differently on any given day. Sometimes, long-term rates, like mortgages, can move in a completely different direction from the shortest-term rate. This was a necessary a major factor this week but it's another reason to be aware of the potential disconnects. Understand that the financial markets were already well aware that Fed was going to cut their rates. You might have heard the term, buy the rumor, sell the news. This refers to the traders acting upon events that are highly likely to play out as expected, buying the rumor those participating in a wave of momentum that makes those trades more and more profitable before ultimately exiting those trades, selling the news, when the news finally happens. Just consider the nuances of the Fed Day information. In addition to the Fed rate cut itself, which was widely assumed, there were more important aspects of the Fed Day. These include the members' rate forecast via the dot plot and Fed Chair Powell's press conference. The dot plot was actually somehow beneficial to the bonds and rates, but Powell's press conference took things back in the other direction. If you happen to see the news headlines the day after the Fed announcement, that suggested mortgage rates had in fact moved significantly lower, it was likely due to Freddie Mac's weekly mortgage rate survey. The one that uses the five-day average through each Wednesday before being reported on Thursday. As such, Freddie's rate can be very stout compared to daily changes in rates. It is true that we saw the lowest rate in a year and a half last Thursday and Friday. Some lenders were at the same level again on Tuesday before the Fed announcement. But the average moved higher after that. Even so, rate remains very close to long-term lows with the average lender more than 1.5% below the long-term highs from late 2023s. Incidentally, this is remarkably similar to the amount the Fed expects to cut rates in the coming years. Almost as if the, mark or the mortgage market can get in position to further rate cuts well in advance. The chart here shows the dot plot from this week's Fed meeting compared to the next most recent dot plot released in June 2024. The blue dots are new and the red dots are old. Note the downward migration. Each dot is one Fed member's outlook. 
In conclusion, the inflation is still as expected. This week's economic data on inflation align closely with expectations, and the European Central Bank, ECB, meeting did not contain surprises. Mortgage rates dipped further, reaching the lowest point since early 2023. The Fed is expected to announce a rate cut at the next meeting on Wednesday. Retail sale and housing data are also due to be released on Wednesday, followed by Fed Chair Powell's speech on Thursday. What do you think of this update? Share your thoughts below.